All right, Pathmaker7 YouTube channel here. My name's Ryan. Just want to throw another video out. Um, to all you people out there, again, my family's motto, we've been saying it, said it before my dad passed away. We were saying it when we were in hospice. My dad would do this little, like, let's, let's go kind of a, you know, hop, let's get out of the bed. Of course, he's there in glory right now. So, uh, but hey, let's get the road on the show. Or a little SpongeBob for you. Um, for all you Spongebob lovers out there. And I'm talking like the old original Spongebob, get a dog, little doggy. So, uh, but we'll go with, uh, let's get the road on the show because I love that one and so does my family. Uh, anyways, this one, I'm going to share another dream. This one I had in 2012. Um, it was just one of the many uh, dreams that I've had about, you, you know, my people have had them and I'm just going to say it, the big O, Obama. Um, so this one was 2012. Um, I had this dream. Um, so here it goes. So this dream, I was in like a big, kind of like a life raft kind of thing. If you guys ever been to Six Flags or some water, you know, water parks or big, you know, uh, amusement parks, they have, um, like Thunder River where it's a big boat and everybody's kind of spinning around in a river and there's waterfalls and stuff and you're up and down and, you know, moving around. Anyways, it was kind of like that, and it was in a river in front of the White House. Now, the White House, the, the lawn was extended, still had the, like the black iron fence and had trees on both sides, and so we went down this river, kind of splashing along in front of the White House, and all of a sudden, I look up, and here comes this um, Marine One helicopter. Here's the interesting thing. Excuse me. The helicopter was not the typical green marine one. It was bright red, Illuminati red, just shiny red marine one looking helicopter. And it comes over and it sees us in the river and then it goes up and lands in front of the White House lawn. Well, that kind of piqued my interest and my family's interest. So we get to a shore and we, we get off and we kind of leap over the fence and we're sneaking around it's, and it's, you know, during the day a little bit, the sun's kind of setting. And so we're, we're kind of running along uh, near the tree line. Well, we get captured, which we were trying not to. We just wanted to see what was going on because something had some curiosity, you know, peak there. So it changed from that scene. Uh, I, I didn't see us get captured. I just knew we were all captured. And um, the next, scene was I was in one of the rooms in the White House, you know, upstairs. And I could see the window, the door to the, the, to the room was open, and I could see the banister and the spindles to the steps going down in the White House. Now, I've been in the White House before, so if you guys just go look up pictures, you can see like the banister and the spindles and, you know, the railing of the steps. Well, that's what I saw upstairs. And I was in this room, and there was, any, there was no furniture in the room except this one chair in the middle of the room. And um, Michelle, or Michael, um, it was it, it, Michelle, everybody knows her as Michelle. Um, but she's, she was, and the reason why I say that is for a lot of reasons, but she was acting, and I'll, and I'll get to it, she was acting very manly in the situation and she was very angry at me and she was coming against me and she was all up in my face and she was saying how do you know how do you know who told you who told you and i was like i know i mean the, i mean the lord just showed me and i and i know and she's still and she's still just it's making her even more angry and she's like i said in, in my in my grill and she's acting very manly about it and she's, you know, kind of, you know, lunging at me and she's, you can tell she's very angry and who told you, but the thing about it is, is she knew she couldn't touch me um, or, or he knew he couldn't touch me. And so she's very angry and she's just, just keeps, you know, spitting it out. Who told you? Who told you? How do you know these things? And I'm, I'm, I know, the, 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 I heard, the Lord told me. So she, she stomps out of the room. And I, I see her go by, you know, the, the, the railing. And again, the door's open. And it's not like, I mean, of course, I guess if I tried to escape, they would have caught me anyways. But, I mean, I just had an understanding. I really couldn't go anywhere. And I wasn't, I wasn't fearing for my life because I know who I was in Christ. And so I see her walk and I see her go down the steps. I can see her, you know, through the spindles and the railing, I can see her go down the steps. And when I turn around, 
there's Barack Obama sitting in the chair that was in the middle of this room. And there wasn't any lights on. The lights were very dim. And we're in front of the, uh, I'm standing to the side of him. So I'm, I'm basically looking at his right side, almost like a silhouette, but not because, I mean, I could see that it was him very clearly. It wasn't, it wasn't dark, even though the room was darkened because there was no lights on. There was more light coming through the window and, you know, the arched top, you know, type window, the big window that went all the way to the floor like the White House has. And so um, you can see the trees and stuff outside. He's sitting there and I'm looking at him and he's not talking. He's just sitting in the chair. And I just, I just had this, all of a sudden I had this desire to ask him a question. I said, so are you, you know, pretty much the, and before I can get it out, he's sitting in the chair, very pompous, arrogant, prideful, I mean, just whatever you can think of. Very calm, and he's rubbing his arm like this. He just keeps rubbing his arm. And he goes, hmm, hmm, what do you think? Hmm. And he just keeps doing that over and over again. And while he's sitting there, and he's doing that, I mean, and I've had this happen many times in my dreams. Some of you have had dreams, can probably know this, and it's happened to you. Scripture immediately comes to mind on several different things which I'll share at the end of this after the dream of what he's doing when he keeps doing this with his arm what do you think what do you think and so he gets up out of the chair because he knows that I know and he doesn't care he doesn't care that I know and he gets up and he walks away and I see him go down the steps and for some reason, like many of times, I will have dreams where my mom's dad, my grandfather, will show up in my dreams. And so when he walks, I just had an understanding that my grandfather is now sitting in the same chair. And I turn around and I look and I, and I wasn't shocked, I wasn't stunned. It was like I just had this understanding that he was sitting in the chair. And I looked at him and I was like, can you believe that? Can you believe him? I mean, wow. And my grandfather just goes, yep, yep. And all of a sudden, he starts going. Like he's getting ready to fight. He's just... And then I was like, I mean, I just can't believe that. Can you believe that? And he goes, yep. And, this, and as soon as he does that a couple of times, he gets up out of the chair as if, to me, what I had an understanding of that, the rapture was going to be soon and that we were somehow going to fight and he was just start to get ready to fight and um, I woke up so a couple things that I got from the dream that I heard in my spirit while I was having the dream is that the Antichrist has no desire for women point point and point taken here on Michael Obama um, there's no pictures of them having any kids um, you can do some research and go look up Akhenaten. You can see sculptures that were done of Michael and Barack. And I've, I've got an Egyptian book that was done in the 70s of artifacts. And even Obama went there before he became president. There's a lot of things. You know, I'm just, I'm just throwing some things out there. You guys can go do your research if you've already done some or you haven't done some. I really don't care what you guys think. I'm just telling you what I feel like the Lord has shown me. And this is just one of several dreams that I've had. And it's been years ago. And I'm, I'm still holding on to that because of just, I don't know how things are going to fit. I don't think he's a type of Antichrist. I think he is. And when he was doing this, the other scripture that came to mind was, the Antichrist will lose vision in one of his eyes and strength in his right arm because of his fatal head wound that he somehow comes back from so i don't know how everything plays out i'm just telling you biblical scriptures uh, this is not ryan making stuff up you can go look these things up yourself so take it for whatever you want take it to the lord ask him maybe he'll reveal it to you in a dream maybe he'll you know somebody else i'm just putting a video out hoping i'm an encouragement to other people and the body of christ as we see the day approaching because you know what um, doesn't matter who's in, Trump, Biden, um, I feel like ever since Obama got in, 
crazy things have been happening. Everything's been accelerating. He's behind the scenes. He even said he was going to be behind the scenes. He said, you know, if I could be in sweatpants in a basement with an earpiece in someone's ear directing them, well, guess what? I think that's what's going on right now. Um, I think uh, we have a selection, not election. My dad believed that. I mean, people have just have bought into this thing where this um, theory that, you know, we have some kind of say. You know, it's that American dream. But you know what? You have to be asleep to believe it. Because if you were awake, it wouldn't be an American dream. It'd be, it'd be an American woke. Um, I mean, we're the Roman revised empire. I mean, look around. I mean, everything in, in, in Washington, D.C., our money, everything has a very, very big Babylonian Roman empire type scenario that's been going on. Um, even you know, the Statue of Liberty is very Roman. It's very uh, centurion. Who killed Jesus? The Romans. Who do you think's in control over a lot of things in military power and countries in the world? The Romans, which is where the Pope is. So the Pope has a military. Um, I mean, where are all the archives kept? They have, you know, I mean, you can go on for hours about this kind of stuff. You know, people just need to, you know, it's, it's um, very scary because people haven't been doing their research. Um, People are asleep. Um, the church is asleep. Of course, these are all things that be prophesied that would happen because, you know what, I'm sorry to tell you, and, you know, if you believe there's going to be a great awakening before the rapture of the church, that's not biblical. Um, there's going to be a, there's a former rain and a latter rain, and that latter rain's going to come after we're gone. The It's not going to be a great awakening. It's going to be a rude awakening. It's going to happen because of the rapture. I mean, come on, people are going to be beating on the door, gnashing of teeth and weeping what does that sound like mourning in the streets it sounds more like they got left and there's going to be some people who are going to know in a matter of seconds matter of minutes and then there's going to be some people who are going to buy into the lie so that's going to be another video but um anyways i just wanted to share this video i wanted to get it out as soon as possible and as always if you haven't accepted christ now's the time time short and uh you know, trying to work as we, we still have light because, you know, it's going to get dark and there's not going to be any more time. So time's running out. I'm sorry to say that there's a the few grains of sand left in the hourglass and they're about to run out. And we got a blood moon coming up on May 26th. So uh, could be Passover. People have had dreams. I've had dreams about full moon rapture. Um, I pet goat too. If you haven't done that, look into that. I'm going I'm to put that in the description box. But uh, anyways, um, if, if uh, you haven't come to Christ, now's the time. ABCs, very simple. Admit that you're a sinner, um, you know, that you're in need of a Savior. Um, B is believe that Jesus died on the cross and He you know, took our place, you know, for our sins and our fallen nature. And C is just, you know, um, confessing with your mouth, believing in your heart that Jesus is Lord and you'll be saved. That's what the Bible says. Go read 1 Peter, um, I think it's 1 Peter 2. I might be wrong. I'll go look that up. I'll put that in the description box as well. Um, Lots of good verses in the Bible. Uh, I can throw out many, but, you know. Anyways, I just wanted to keep this quick and simple. And um, as always, I'm going to start saying it. Let's get the road on the show. See you guys on the next one.